Hello, Jack, my friend. It is good to meet you. It is an honor to meet you, sir. <laughs> How are you this fine day? I am doing wonderful now. All righty, guys. Sorry to interrupt. I'm going to go ahead and take a photo of the two of you. Ready? Mm -hmm. One. <laughs> One, two, and three. Perfect. I looked fat, but I am fat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of it. You know, what's it's it's. it's Come, it's actually really coming handy because I, I live in New Mexico now, and they mm -hmm. started vaccinating people who were 65 and over, and then people with underlying conditions. Well, I'm only 60, but man, I'm 25 pounds overweight, so put me in line. <laughs> in line. <laughs> Go have a chicken fried steak tonight with gravy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the first thing I was wondering. Do you, by any chance, have a go-to or a favorite piece of Iro wisdom? I do, and it, it this has. Uh, I mean, there's so many things. Of course, are, everything he says is wise. <laughs> that, are, that are applicable to to the times in which we find ourselves. But the one that really resonates with me, uh, and, and and it hit me one day. I was I was telling the story. It was shortly after the pandemic. Yeah, my, my son was in New York when that was so scary. My my daughter's in Pasadena. We're in New Mexico. I'm freaking out. Like, what is going on? Right. So I was walk. I was out for a walk, and uh, the sky was blue, and I heard the birds singing. And I said, "Wait a minute. You know what? It made me think of this Iro Iro line from Legend of Korra, which is, uh, "If you look for the light, you can often find it. If you look for the dark, that is all you will ever see." And that's, you know, to me, that's sort of getting through this, this, you know, troubled, deeply troubling times in which we are. I, right. I, by just looking for the light and looking for, and, you know, I, I fail. I unfortunately am a mere actor. You know, I'm not, I'm not Iroh. I'm just Greg Baldwin. I wish mm -hmm. Greg Baldwin was as wise as Iroh, but <laughs> he even speaks to me as he has to literally millions of people all over the, the world. Right. Like, you know, I, he's a... Uh, I, I, my wife sometimes will say, you know, you know, hey, Greg, you know, go clean out the kitty litter. And I go, excuse me, I voiced the beloved <laughs> father figure for an entire generation. And she's like, I don't care. All right, dear, I'll go. Yeah, I'm going. Cleaning out the kitty litter. Going now. So on the subject of wisdom, do, who do you think is more wise or is it equal? Uh, Master Splinter or Uncle Iroh? Or is it this pretty much they're the same level of just wise master? I think they're probably equally wise. I think. I think, though, uh, the ability to certainly, if they got into a fight, the mm. ability to bend fire, I think, would be correct. Know, I mean, martial arts can only get you so far. Yeah, advantage, I will. When a man can literally shoot lightning from his fingertips. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, you know, even the turtles aren't going to be able to stand up against that. But, you know, a wonderful people, because uh, I also voiced Aku on Samurai Jack, who's voiced by Marco. And he's the diametrically opposed to Iroh. It's light and darkness. And I think if Iroh fought Aku, I would have to probably say advantage Aku. What um, is more? What, what is more fun to voice, like a a low, wise person or a dark, menacing presence? I always say the difference between Iroh and Aku, and it's literally the same voice because it's Mako. Mm -hmm. When I am doing Iroh, I am doing Iroh for the. A film. This is Iro for a movie. It's very down. Whereas when you do Aku, Aku is for the state. <laughs> he is saying to the balcony. And that is the difference between it. <laughs> well, it was really great meeting you. You were a pillar of my childhood. Oh, I thank you, Jack. I thank you so much. Literally. I watched Avatar as it premiered, and then, you know, we were all sad when Mako passed, but I thought you did a fantastic job. Thank you. That makes me feel so good when I hear people say that, you know, it makes me it really does. And I, I have tried it. Literally, it has been, except for my wife and kids, the greatest blessing of my life because it's tangible. This has turned out to be more than just an acting gig. Right. Iro makes an impact. He is an impactful character in people's lives and, and a force for good in a world when we desperately need that. And as right as you know, unworthy as I am, it's 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 great to be able to have the opportunity, especially in these times. But you have treated the character with such respect, I could not possibly think of anyone other than Mako who could possibly do it justice. Well, I thank you. I thank <laughs> you, my friend, from the bottom of my heart. Soon we will meet in the real world. 
Apple Jasmine tea. <laughs> All right, before, uh, Long Island tea. Well, you know, before we go, do you actually like tea? You know what? I grew up in the South, uh, so I'm very fond of sweet tea. My 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 experience with tea is sweet tea, pretty much. I mean, I will gotcha. eat. I, I eat. I'll have a, I'll have you know hot tea when I'm at a at a at a Chinese or Japanese restaurant, but I'm more likely to have sake. Right, I, right, right, right. Uh, but I just had to ask, you know, a friend asked me, like, I wonder if he truly does enjoy tea. <laughs> and Long Island tea on occasion, but only no more than two. <laughs> well, have yourself a wonderful night. You too. It is a pleasure meeting you. Have a good one, my friend. You too.